Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Take a look. Take a look. I better get back to cleaning the store. What a 
mess. New to Riverwood? If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the mill. It's my mill. Some folks think it's my town too, but it ain't. The Jarl in Whiterun owns the land and the town. I just pay the taxes. And by supplies, I suppose you mean weapons and armor? Alvor can help you out. He's our blacksmith. Of course. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there's anything else you need, just let me know. Oh, what's this all about? What are you two doing here? Dragon in Helgen? It can't be. Although, it would explain what I saw earlier, flying down the valley from the south. I thought I must have just been seeing things. You're right, I saw it, but how's that possible? Dragons don't exist. They're just stories from long ago. I don't know why, but I actually believe you. You've got the look of someone who's just seen a dragon. Things just go from bad to worse. First the war, now dragons. What's this world coming to? The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. Well, the news you heard about if you'll Alfred do that for me, true. I'll be in your debt. I'm Darkwater glad to help any way I can. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That Cross the river and then head north. Two days ago you'll see now. Whiterun on its hill as we you pass the falls. Jarl Balgruf? I, up to the I don't mean to be disrespectful as he's ruled Whiterun hold well for years, but he seems ill. He's been trying to stay out of the war, but it can't last. He's go I wouldn't say that. But he and Ulfric have been at odds for years, and I'm afraid Balgruf will end up siding with the Empire because of it. But it's hard to believe that even Balgruf would choose Elisif over Ulfric. Of course, Ulfric's cause is just. It's time for Skyrim to rid itself of the Empire. The Empire may have been good for Skyrim once upon a time, but those days are long past. Banning the worship of Talos was the last straw. Thalmor everywhere, dragging people off for honoring our own gods. I'm glad Raelof is helping drive them out of here. If I was a bit younger, I might have joined the fight myself. I suppose she's Jarl Elisif now. She married High King Turug just before Ulfric killed him. The Empire supports her claim to be High Queen. I don't really have anything against her. Not her fault that her husband Turug was bought and paid for by the Empire. But she's nothing but a puppet for the Empire now, with her husband Turug dead. Ulfric will make sure she never takes the throne as High Queen. 
Some say murdered, but it was a lawful challenge in the old way. Ulfric called him out as a traitor to Skyrim, and killed him in single combat. If Tori couldn't defend his throne, he had no business being High King. No, not until the Moot meets to choose another, and it won't meet until one side or the other wins the war. Don't worry, though. Ulfric is our rightful High King. He'll drive out the Empire, and Skyrim will have peace at last. The cowards! They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger. Riverwood Trader, my sister Camilla or I will be happy to help you. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Damn thieves! 